Okay, we'll see. So A watch forward. B watch midships, C watch aft. Okay. Good time. Thanks, buddy. See, I can do it too. Hi, Ma. <laughs> Look at me. I'm filming it. I'm looking at you. In New York. <laughs> In New York. Look. See the statue? Here I am. Hi. <laughs> there she is. And look. Here's a real Russian. We got a real Russian right here. <laughs> look. It's a real Russian. Say something in Russian, Galleon. <laughs>
All wet. I just want a galley again. Oh, yeah. galley girl. More tongue. More tongue, huh? It's finished now. Put that up, I said. Push? I'll do it. Set.
between three and four, we need there'll be people coming on. We need to watch a gangway, watch all the lines, keep people safe. Nobody blow unescorted. Okay. So from three to three thirty will be uh, Eliza, Dan, Maggie, Steve, Tom, Mary Shea, Kevin, Patrice, Susan, Dennis, and Warren. Warren will be the person directing everybody. Some watching the gangway, some watching lines, okay? So again, from 3 to 3.30, Eliza, Dan, Maggie, Steve, Tom, Mary Shea, Kevin, Patrice, Susan, Dennis, Warren in charge, okay? From 3.30 to 4, 3.30 to 4, Josh, Seth, Greg Dukowski, Mike Gerzovitz, me, Emma, Mike Atkins, Albert Shahinian, and Louise. So 3.30 to 4, Josh, Seth, Greg, Mike G, me, Emma, Mike A, Albert Shahinian, Louise, and Josh will, Josh will orchestrate that crew. Okay. Okay. At four o'clock, what watches? Sea. They're listening. Sea watches this afternoon. Sea watches on until seven. Albert, Albert, where is press conference? Uh, Aladdin. Hey, how are you? How are you? Can you help Clara get off to the press box? Where is it? Right here. Okay. So. Everybody listen up. Sea watch is on now until 7. And then A watch from 7 to 11.
sure. What do you think Red Square is all about? Huh? What do you think the Kremlin and Red Square is all about? Fireworks Huge there? fireworks they display, do? sure. Every country. Did you see the Olympic ceremony? ceremony? No. In Moscow? Yeah. yeah. I did. I thought it was. Japanese are way ahead yeah, developing the purples. These purple is a real high frequency color to generate. It's really, they really excel in it. Oh, look at this one. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Woo. What's that place where they're setting you up? It's a barge. It's a barge.
So what do you think of it? Ah, because of parts. I know that's an issue. I BMXT. No, this is XT. I know. I don't know. And may there be many more, better and better. Yeah. <laughs> At the ship, they had a priest from Soviet Union, a priest or a deacon from Soviet Union. Deacon. Yeah, 
How are you doing? Great. Good. Good. Yeah. She's yeah. married. Well, the same goes here, Ross. We thought we were going to get this very snobbish, famous journalist. They told us, be very good to this man because he's a very famous journalist. He turned out to be just a regular old guy. <laughs> <laughs> I lose my gut spinning. Этот, spinning. Spinning
Сопротивление, сопротивление бюрократического аппарата. 
bureaucratic machines. The resistance of the bureaucratic machines. Yeah, Потому что новая ситуация создает для этой машины, для бюрократической машины, большие трудности и грозит потерей тех привилегий, которые... Because this new economic uh, situation uh, no, creates politics. difficulties. Politic. Politic. Uh, the, new, the political situation creates difficulties for that bureaucratic machine. Вот. Но это вот в самых, как мне кажется, общих э, чертах, то что, то, что сейчас происходит. Ты, э, еще один очень важный момент. Изменения, которые э, начались в Советском Союзе, они начались сверху. И сейчас идет э, процесс, э, очень быстрый процесс. Вот это как бы духовной и моральной и политической революции. И народ уже обгоняет этих инициаторов этой революции. Um, would there be any questions of any Soviet citizens of the American teenagers? On history. Объясните, пожалуйста, почему вы хотите заниматься русской историей? Just a matter of getting an opposing view of something about some other countries. Yeah, it, just, it helps in terms of relations. It helps just to get a better view of the world. And also, we've, by now we've been crammed with so much Western civilization and Western history that it's interesting to get an, another perspective on this is happening now, but you know, take a look over here because it's just as important. It's merely our, our historical ties that bring us back to uh, Europe and well, it's all really new, and the culture is totally different, so it's, it's, it's really interesting. We've heard U.S. history over and over and over, but this is all brand new. Um, one of our students has just a little memento from Camden Rockport High School, and he'd like to pass it out to our <laughs> Soviet guests. When you were a souvenir, I guess I could just pass it on. Probably. Okay, um, let's see. Emily, did you have a question before um, we can go back to some questions? Or, um... <laughs> 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 a wonderful impression. <laughs> I was impressed with the overwhelming hospitality of the American people. Мне очень, конечно, приятно, что нам было уделено такое большое внимание. И по неволе мне кажется, что It's really pleasant that they they paid so much attention to us. We really appreciate that. Я не могу сейчас разделить, допустим, американцев и русских. Мне представляется, что они Единая дружная семья. I can't really distinguish between Americans and Soviets at this point. We're really one big family. Это первый раз. 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 Это
за это короткое время In this short time, я полюбил американцев. I in love with the uh, и хочу сказать, что очень много общего у американцев, американских людей и у нас просто. We have an awful lot in common, Americans. Несмотря на различия и строя, и образа жизни. Well, sure, we can look at our different ways of life, but... И всю оставшуюся свою жизнь я буду... May I please have your attention? Посвящу тому, что мы будем дружбу. Will be from 9:34. Students and staff need to be back into their classroom for period three at 9:44. Mount Desert Island. Uh, Cadillac Mountain over there, the nearest to the sea. Mount Desert is a famous resort for the very rich. The Rockefellers and the Ford still have mansions over there on the water. Up here is a, is a hill called Blue Hill. And that's a lovely little resort. Retirement. Maybe a few cottages, a lot of them are deserted. Uh, this is Islesboro, another summer resort with a small year-round community. The nearest big one here is North Haven, which is struggling to keep the school open. If they don't have, I think, 20 people, they can't have a school. So they're trying to bring families in. They're building boats there. And beyond that, you know, inside those little islands on the right end of this long mass is another island called Vinyl Haven which still has a very big working fishing fleet. They're probably... I'm not sure. I think this island on the horizon is Matinicus, which has a very small year-round population. And I'm not sure, but the least. Seminar. <laughs> Now, we will get there probably not much before 11. Please be back at noon for the lunch. 12 o'clock, back where you start from the amphitheater. Now, when we get to the amphitheater, and the bus stops and I stop. We'll see how many want to go to the apprentice shop and see if you can all get in my truck. Oh, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Great American actor. Mm -hmm. Dennis Hopper, yes. Yes, I know. Yes. So it's a 
Peter, but I, I don't take with me my prints and this. But it, 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 it's it's full of to twice. Twice mm -hmm. to, to, to take last time I, I was with my yeah, it's, if you don't have the time, yeah. you don't have the time to really to, to spend with people. I show when I return to to New York, I connect with Kappa. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, these are great. These are wonderful. I'm not doing it justice by shooting it in video, but I uh, get an idea of what okay, it is. Okay, he's there. He's in the... Oh, here, wait. Can we go now? Hold on. Can we do it again? Did you see the gallery? From two, the Trichotropia? Did you see the gallery? Oh, yeah. Did Marianne Mark. Marianne Mark. Mark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blows everything else. Right so, I know order. much, uh, very, very many uh, pictures. Yes. Yeah, I, oh, there you are. Before. Did you hear me? Um, William Hurt, actor? Mm-hmm. Um, Balsoy, actor. Go to the uh -huh. with them, In fact, we saw him in The Accidental Tourist on the way over to yeah. Russia. Yeah, they didn't. Oh, okay. David. <laughs> no, it's good to see you. <laughs> this is that Mila. 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 David Byman. Hello, how are you? She's the photographer for the uh, art magazine in Atlantic Grove. Yeah. I'm a photographer, which she was hoping very much to uh, uh, talk to you about the school. Okay, and she brought some samples of her work. Hi. And she brought an interpreter. Two well, interpreters. <laughs> many interpreters. I'm Eliza Garfield. Hi. I've met you before through the photographic things. But this is Yuri Rose, who's a photojournalist also with the Soviet Union. Oh. And between the two of us, we'll try to help communicate. Not really the William Clips. What is that camera? Oh, this is a uh, eight millimeter uh, waterproof camera. It, it just came across the Atlantic with me. Are you going into the water here? Uh, well, <laughs> no, I, it's already been through enough. I, I don't need to take it. <laughs> is uh, yeah, are the materials made in Russia? Is the film from Russia? Is yeah. the yeah. paper made in Russia? Yeah, yeah. But film not so bad sometimes. We have not a uh, high speed uh, film. Uh, 200 they say, mm -hmm. black white, not so good, so, so bad, but not ma not uh, fine grain. It's fine grain, but no, not uh, like 3x max. Yeah, not like T max. Mm -hmm. T max is. T max is very new in this country. Yes, I know. Um, do you uh, see the work of many? Uh, photographers from outside Russia. Yes. Do you have course. books in yes, Russia? Yes. So you see the work of Katia Brasson? Yes, I love Katia. I like the Katia Brasson. Katia Brasson knows me mm -hmm. too. My works too. Mm -hmm. Katia Brasson, photographer. Huh. Katia. Brasson. Mm, nice. Oh, yeah, this is all the religion. Is it possible to, to see the laboratory? Yeah, yes, yes, you didn't get there, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, all of this work is your work? Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. This is a woman, she says, at the festival who has decided to die, and this is her robe. Mm -hmm. Ready, you're ready. <laughs> that, uh, Isn't that beautiful? No, it's yeah, that's one of my favorites. What one? Uh, uh, they say that the um, Institute of International Photography uh, in uh, this year or the, the next year, maybe, I don't know. He, he must to, to sign the invitation. Yeah, they. Now, to explain this invitation again. Uh, about Kappa. Mm -hmm. 
So I show him, uh, now I have no my works with me on the book. But last year I have um, the portfolio. Uh, prints are rather good, but uh, on the Hungarian paper, maybe in paper, maybe you know. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, Ilford, of course, but not so bad. And we, they, we, we, we sell a paper here that's made in Czechoslovakia. Uh, wait, or, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Pal paper. Pal? Pal? Paper. Pal? It, it's not a home. No, it's not Pal. <laughs> Kevin! 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 What's the name of the paper we get from Czechoslovakia? Ah! Uh, Pal? Yes. We're not? Do you know it? It's called, oh. um... Um... Color? No, black and white. I used it in Italy. The same paper. Pal. 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 No. But it's Some called... Czechoslovakia. We can't get it anymore, but we're going to try and get it. It's not called that in Yugoslavia, though. It's called... Maybe. I don't know. Um, Czechoslovakia paper. No, it's How could you get it? Do you know? You have um, found very nice moments in Russian life. But, but, <laughs> no. you need uh, a little more work to make the moments to be really good photographs. Мало работаете над тем, чтобы это, этот момент превратился в хорошую фотографию. And a little better technical, yeah. but mostly composition mm -hmm. and uh, decisive moment mm -hmm. and um, to clean up the background, to yes. isolate, to edit. And she would be very good. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Сами моменты хорошие, но технически не оформлены. Я, я бы сказал, переводя то, что он, он говорит, что существует определенная неопрятность у них. То есть они не закончены композиционно, много лишнего в камере. Uh -huh. Случай, occasion. Some occasionally. You see? You see, very good composition. Yes. Simple. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, we chose uh, the lens. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a very clean. Это чистая композиционно чисто выстроенный кадр. Все нормально. С моей точки зрения здесь не пропечатано. No. No. Посмотри, не надо все показывать. Я вам сказал. Детская мебель. Вот это. But that should not be an excuse, yeah. because when I started photography 30 years ago, 35 years ago, I um, had to make my first camera. And what? To make my first camera. And when I finally bought a camera, it was a big, old, used press camera, speed graphic. And I had one film holder. Yeah. So I had two sheets of film a day that I could go out yeah. and photograph, and I did that for a year. Yeah. I remember yeah. I started out with a Voigtlander, an old German rangefinder, and that really gave us good... No, the, the equipment is not the secret. Mm -hmm. um, the materials, if you know the materials well enough, then you'll make them work. Mm -hmm. It's having the yes. vision. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's having the vision of what no, can be done. It's not the main thing. It's the main thing that Two hands. One head, two legs. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> of course. <laughs> if you give me your uh, head, what? I'll be like American too. <laughs> no, the Russians. Not present, of course. <laughs> the, the Russians look more like Americans than Europeans. Yes. Where we come from. Yeah. Yes. Mm. We look. But look. you, you come from your. Uh, you, yeah, you, I come from Europe. England, but. Uh, yes, but we never come from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came from Lithuania. But I wish to see is Europe. No, Russian, they look more like Americans. These kids don't look like French kids. 
they don't look German kids. They don't look like yeah. Poles. Yeah. They don't look like Italians. They don't look like Spanish. They yeah. don't look like uh, they like, look like, like Nordic kids. kids. They, they, like they look like American kids. Yes, yes, yes. Understand? Because you have no. the, the uh, Spanish kids, the one um, one nation they, kids. They look so American. like uh, German, mm -hmm. but American, German it's a uh, com complete nation. Lots like of British, Russia. French, yeah. Russian, 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 American, Jewish, and, uh, Georgian, and Ukrainian, yeah. and White Russia, and so on, and uh, yeah, it's just like American also. kids. Yeah, you know, go right to there. Yeah, and. Ну, это хорошая композиция. Ну, не видел этих фотографий, которых, в общем, на своей доске довольно uh -huh. много. Но это действительно неплохая фотография, потому что они все uh -huh. сходятся и композиционно выходишь ты взглядом uh -huh. на эту карточку. And yeah, very no, simple, no, nice, no, nice, no, nice no, composition no. all around, mm -hmm. clean, nice space, mm -hmm. gesture, mm -hmm. nice juxt, just, just nice through there. Yeah. More slow, lightly, must be, as, as it seems to me. More посветлее надо было чуть-чуть, чтобы она не перла сюда. Вообще напечатана рисковато. Nice. Yeah. But. The problem I notice is, um, except for this, very few pictures like this, eyes, mm -hmm. mostly looking away like yeah. that. And you should do more pictures with the eyes. Mm -hmm. This is just for you. This is this is the map. What are you with the paper? Great, great. All right. Get along all right. You must come and stay and spend a year in Maine and do Maine the same way. You can find the same kind of faces. <laughs> Yes, only mm -hmm. because because I'm, I'm oh, look at that. Look at that great yeah, посредник. Я должен поставить объект и зрителя друг против друга и заставить их смотреть друг на друга. Let the let my let my lens look at the person look right right through. И должен их познакомить. Introduce. После этого я их оставляю. Они остаются общаться сами между собой. They'll talk among themselves if I if I go in and introduce myself first to get a different look. That's right. Yeah. And everyone is a great story. I mean, he told us on the boat we did an afternoon seminar where he described a few of his favorites, and they're really, the words are pretty rich, too. The great ballad dancer, Ulanova. Hello, Dr. It's in German, too. It was done in Switzerland. It's Switzerland. Really? Well, that's his mother. That's a great story. Yeah. That's his mother. No, that's not it. The one that's his mother. Yeah, he just passed it. It's his oh, this mother. Painter. Primitive art. From the Ukrainian. Very colorful. Very colorful. Ukraine. 
Yeah. 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 Is it your job to also? Yeah. You should take American pictures and Russian pictures and mix them up, see if anybody can tell the difference. Tell who's we were talking who's earlier today that the, the, that, that, the, that the Russians look so much like the Americans. Yeah. In our group? No, I mean, in, any, in, the, in the pictures that the woman had taken, I mean, that could be an American sure. girl. She doesn't look French, she doesn't look German, she doesn't look Polish, she looks American, mm -hmm. not or Russian. Mm -hmm. And he was saying the reason is, is that in the United States, like Russia, is a melting pot. Yeah. It's not in, in, in French that people are Gauls, and in, in Spain, they, you know, they all... I explain why. They're fabulous. I haven't seen the equivalent of it here. Just in German. Uh, uh, the text was just in Switzerland. But the text was just in German. Only in German. Not in Russian? Why no, in Russian? Russian, I am in Russian, yes. Uh, because I'm not right in German. <laughs> <laughs> some, uh, some of them was printed in um, Aganyok on Literaturna Gazeta, too. Some of this. Uh, so do you work? Do you work for them regularly? Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so. But the intensity of the eyes. Oh, yes. His 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 man uh, made suicide after a month of this. Assisting us, assisting us with the interpretation is longtime Rockport resident Irene Wolf, who is a native of Russia, born in Moscow. Mm -hmm. Set up for a bunch instead of just one. Okay. As long as it's payment, I, it'll take me the same amount of paperwork to do okay, ten as you want. Okay, you're probably right. But I understand. And, and, you know, and, if something and if you do ten, if you do work. ten, then you can get more people involved because right. now it makes a major impact. It makes a major impact on the cultural group in Russia that would be fostering this and okay. bigger impact on the federal government. Okay. People in the United States for maybe a month. Photography. Mm, Maybe and we would give them, uh, when they came here to Maine, they would get, they would get room and board, housing, meals, film. Uh, processing, dark room time. <laughs> and they would get instruction. They would get to, to be with some people that could uh, help them with their photography to get better. Technically, to get better technically, and I, and sensitive to the heart. <laughs> okay. um, so I will work with you and your people. Он сможет со мной работать с моим организацией в Нью-Йорке. Я предложил это, и не знаю, получается ли или нет. So I'm just telling her that that you said you'd work through me. Этот роман спел очень давно Ах, Ваня, за Ромка, Соня.
Да беремся ли мы до дома или застрянем мы? Следят последний раз. Хочу ее обнять. Лошадки слушали и словно поняли и зачистили на бегу. Я верю, миг, они нас довезут. Мою любовь они не подведут. Лошадки детки, они ведь крепки и не пристанут на бегу. Наконец добрались, ах, с милой повстречались. Позабыв про все печали, эх, целовались до утра. Не забыть мне тех страданий и той ночи никогда. Они, ямщик, куда глаза глядят в последний раз. Хочу ее обнять, лошадки слушали и словно поняли. И зачистили на бегу. Я верю, миг, они нас довезут. Мою любовь они не подведут. Лошадки детки, они ведь крепки. И не пристанут на бегу. Horses are running through this terrible storm and they're afraid they're not going to make it. But finally he explains he wants to kiss and hug his lady just once more. And the horses hear him and they get him to this destination and he's able to kiss and hug his lady once again. <laughs> And so they have had this kind of uh, love affair between the Russians and the Americans, and so that's why it's easier for them to greet, meet you here. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one address, that's the school. Okay. And she is writing her home address. Good. So I, I, I have your Russian school, it's, it's very blackboard, or uh, workshop. Photographic workshop. Yeah. И еще раз большое спасибо всей команде за теплый и радушный прием в Кемпен Рокпорте. Нам очень приятно быть здесь с вами. Самурай! Самурай, хороший! You want to see it? Oh, I know what we can do, actually. If you put it more like this. Doc, I recommend you leave it, at least for the plane. No, it's more like this. I They've done a lot of traveling, so they're in their ecology oriented, so we'll talk a fair amount to talk about. It's just a luxury. Oh, oh, mama. Mama, mama. Let's go. Let's go. Гуси. Кота купить глиняного в Америке. Oh, 
Just, 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 please, uh, yeah, please uh, just uh, go over there. Can I give you one? I don't know. One, two, three. Okay, let's go over this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go over this way. Number one, two, three. Over here, number one, two, three. Mike, Mike. Excuse me? Bus. Bus. Number one. How you doing? Great. All right. Great. One, two, three. Того, как вы вместе прошли через такое интересное приключение. In the next two hours, uh, or what's left of the next two hours, we're going to keep you very busy. Но в следующие два часа вы будете очень заняты. You're going to go on a tour of the museum. Вы пойдете по музею. Each of you has a number. У каждого из вас есть номер. And that corresponds to the group that you're going to be in. Это номер группы, в которой вы. And each group has a tour guide. И у каждого у каждой группы будет гид. Ed Donahoe is the guide for group number one. Ed uh, Donahoe on uh, guide uh, для первой группы. Jeannie, where are you hiding? Jeannie Pakini is number two. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeannie Pakini. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Don Lipper is number three. Don Lipper is number three. At 5 o'clock, we're going to have a reception together, and I hope that'll give us a chance to mingle and get to know each other a little more than we can do now. So... Percy E. Small. Okay. It is the only surviving shipyard that built wooden ships at the turn of the century. Okay. It is also a uh, example of the economy of the area. Экономическая территория. Экономическая территория. The old and the new. If you look up the river, you can see the Bath вот. Ironworks. Посмотрите туда. Новые места, где я строил. Where state-of-the-art ships are being built today. Atlantic Ocean. Девять миль отсюда, Атлантический океан. At the end of the Kennebec River is a place called Popham. Fort Popham. Пустя. And in this area, in that area, Fort Popham is where the first wooden vessel was built in 1609. When, when Europeans were the first to settle the main area. And when they came here, there wasn't really much for them to do as far as earning the economy. And the area was a very harsh area, ter just like some of the areas in, in Russia, you know, harsh, severe winters, and there wasn't uh, much to do in farming or mining. So when the Europeans came, they had to make do with what was here. <laughs> okay, so what with the resources that were here, they started to build ships, wooden ships. Uh, and the, I forgot what you said. Wooden, uh, the, 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 the lumber and the skills that the people had. And that was... And that's how, that's how this whole area became a famous area for shipbuilding. And the rivers 
Maine has many rivers, and the rivers were used like, very much like the highways of, to, of uh, today are used. The rivers were used of, as the highways of those days. And they were used to help develop the interior of the state. <laughs> The coast of Maine, as the crow flies, is 300 miles. However, with all the little inlets, The lar it took six to nine months to build a boat. It's a very famous ship. Very famous. Okay. Now the building I'm going to take you to outside is this building here. Here's the bubbles. So you can see the different, the, how the size, the comparative size. Here these bubbles. There you want. Okay. Right, you ship, ah. you, you sailors here. Come on. What do they? What's a mold mop? They lay out the pattern when you're building a ship. That's where they laid out the patterns and cut the wood for the hull of the ship. Ну в общем здесь было типа что-то плаза для парусов тоже. Usually is used to take to take visitors out on the river. It's pretty messy. <laughs> um, when the sh when the area was being restored, когда территория была восстановлена, and these. Uh, we start out with laying the keel. Uh, the ship. And in here you will see just about how it looked in 19, uh, 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 the early 1900s. It was supposed to be and plastered. The plans to make the preparations, the plans to make the plans to make the the and you can see why they had to open doors with the piece, large pieces of timber they had. They had those doors open, and then if you can't see, you have to put your hand up. And you see the doors back there, and the wood that's where the wood would stick out into the street and uh, cutting the good pieces of wood. And you smell it, so I uh, take home. And so then they had to say no taking of wood at all. <laughs> and there, there's also a story that they had uh, the bathroom facilities were not very good. And they would take it and 
and the owner, the owner would say, well, when this, when this uh, is destroyed, then I will put in indoor bathrooms. No, было как и они бросили все кусочек дерева в реке. And, and the owner said, no, no, that's not what he meant. They kept, they kept throwing it in the river, but he said, no, 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 that's not what he meant. So. <laughs> Uh, a lot of these uh, skilled craftsmen worked independently of the shipbuilders. For example, um, the, the riggers for the rigging, they were not always. stove and they worked here year round uh, summer and winter so it got very hot and very cold and and Andre, Andre not even see this I bet. like other states or inland because the lobster has to be cooked live. He has to be alive when you put him in the pot of boiling water.
He has overtaken me. I cannot deal with this uh, beauty. Hey, you know what? Matty, Matty, why you bugging? <laughs> set up with dead eyes. We didn't want to go to this rigging school because they got nothing to on. So bring it back to run and you're going in that direction, whichever. Uh -huh. you know, one way is ahead and one way is a stern. How do you have to do hand signals for the engine or how do you how No, do you this bell, uh, there's a bell pull up in the pilot house uh -huh. and uh, there's more signals. Once they've done maneuvering, then they'll haul it down the end of the air, give me 300 turns or whatever. Uh -huh. Very informal. It's not like a military, but it doesn't yeah. well, how, how many square feet of sail does she carry all together? 2240, I think it is. 2240. Which isn't much of a vessel this size. Yeah. Sure. It's a lot when it's up. <laughs> yeah, sure. And when you got the diesel running full speed, I'm sure you got uh, plenty of power. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Drives are very, very smoothly, very comfortable. Yeah. And uh, 10 knots is a comfortable speed for this thing. Right. I don't slam or anything like that. Right. Just ease is into it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, usually with a sail up, it keeps it from a deep roll, which the mass makes it roll. Uh, yeah, because we, we can get about 10 knots. Another area of work and some other sort of scenes. Talk about weenies. Uh, the, the kind in cans. Oh, what? You didn't know you can get them in cans. I keep missing a word. Which one is it? Oh, big weenies. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about big weenies, the kind you can get in cans. What? You didn't know that you could buy weenies in cans?
movement is trying to encourage the United States government to take 1% of the defense budget and use it toward peace.
try to educate the people of our area about the issues of arms control and about the issues of developing friendship with the Soviet Union. Uh, and in line with that, next uh, uh, Thursday, the September 21st, I'd like all of you to know that we're going to have a program presenting Admiral Eugene Carroll, who was a retired U.S. Uh, Admiral, to discuss his position on surface launch cruise missiles, which uh, we are having a referendum about here in Maine next November. This is a Te Vega. Now, one of the first things that we had to do, one of the first things that we had to do was find a boat. <laughs> and my guess is it looked pretty much like this when you guys came in. <laughs> Being one of the crowd. There were two major focuses to this trip. One was the cultural and personal experience of getting to know each other as individuals. And one was the scientific research we were doing. No. Very interesting. We had, all kind, we had all kinds of seminars. This is a women's seminar. We had a day where we had a group of women and a group of men discussing, and one of the watermelons happened to break open, so we got to eat it. No, <laughs> у нас было очень много. Peace. No, один из самых сложных моментов это когда всем хотелось. This of all the marine mammals we saw, dolphins like these and whales, which we saw a lot of as well as did bird counts, because it was a time of migration and critical information about how much uh, So we did several drift bottle experiments. Or on bow watch, talking. <laughs> and Jake fixing a block on the end of the course. This is actually not even bad weather. This is just a good roll. <laughs> And there were other things that we did for fun. Risk was a big one. <laughs> Soviet warship. <laughs> that, was John, that was John Stone. He's a restaurant owner. This is the Foxhole where 10 people lived. And we had a lot of birthdays too. We had a lot of birthday celebrations. The reason why this picture is in here because on my birthday we bunkered in Copenhagen because we were running out of fuel because we had so many engine hours. <laughs> and this is a picture of a lighter, a small boat with fuel on it, tied up alongside of us in Copenhagen Harbor, giving us We also had a little excitement early on in the trip. A week out, we um, had a, some rough weather, and we also had some old gear on the boat, some tired gear, and we blew out our foresail completely, it's now paint rags, and we broke our main gaff, which is a big stick of wood on the top of the mainsail. And there it is, that's what it looks like broken on the dock in, in Moonenberg. Lying around that was perfect for us to use as a gaff. And within five days, they had made us a new gaff. Here we are in the shed, actually, that the, lunar, that the schooner was built in. And the gaff is right there between all those people. And we're ready to, as Horton, the first mate, is trying to tell us to do, pick it up and move it out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 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 um, 
A group of people dressed up as the Wizard of Oz, plus <laughs> a little bit. Folklore and American translation. And we also had a, a proud talent, a, a talent show, and this was a very difficult maneuver called the airplane. <laughs> and every now and then he would grab the radio while we were making our transatlantic and call in Russian for a Russian boat. And every time he did it, a Russian boat answered. <laughs> and he, we used to joke that we had a submarine following us. And sure enough, when we got into Leningrad Harbor, there was a submarine right there. Well, it's totally cool.